A Minecraft rivalry for the ages, a legendary catchphrase, a life cut tragically short. Technoblade was a prominent name in the Minecraft scene right up until his devastating death in June 2022. And this is everything you should know about one of the most iconic gamers ever to hit the internet. No matter how ridiculous the odds may seem, within us resides the power to overcome these challenges and achieve something beautiful. Countless streamers have reinvented themselves over the years. PewDiePie, for instance, was a prolific horror game streamer before he dropped Let's Play videos in favor of reaction-based content and then returned to more generalized gaming streams. But unlike PewDiePie, Technoblade decided to start over from scratch which may have been the best decision of his career. According to Technoblade, he began uploading at the tender age of 10. His first account was Studio Lore, which consisted of, in his words, terrible Roblox machinimas. He eventually moved on to bad Team Fortress 2 videos. Again, his words. But in four years of content creation, he only amassed around 47 subscribers. Around the time the young content creator was set to graduate middle school, he discovered streaming and decided to give that a try. So he ditched his original account and started a few collaborative channels where he made Minecraft videos with friends. Those didn't pan out. So he reinvented himself again. That next attempt, which started in October 2013, resulted in the Technoblade most audiences know and love. He had previously prowled small Minecraft PvP servers, but after he created his new identity, he started visiting Hypixel. Though Technoblade started from scratch, he made up for it quickly. After six months, he amassed 300 subscribers. One year after that, his fan base had grown to 13,800 followers. This upward trend persisted throughout Technoblade's career. And now well over 10 million people are subscribed to his channel. And that's right, you saw the title, I dropped out of college to play Minecraft. And yes, before you ask, my mother was absolutely thrilled when I told her. In 2019, Technoblade posted a tell-all video that chronicled his attempt to pursue a higher education, fittingly titled, I dropped out of college to play Minecraft, LOL. Several times in the segment, Technoblade stressed that this was a calculated move and not a spur-of-the-moment decision. According to Technoblade, he attended college as an English major. He barely had time to play video games and received a 4.0 GPA in his second semester. However, his motivation was anything but healthy. He only made it through college thanks to, quote, constant deadline anxiety. To make matters worse, he eventually realized that he only liked non-English curriculum courses. When Technoblade crunched the numbers, which factored in his subscriber growth and income, his calculations demonstrated that an English degree wouldn't pull in as much cash as YouTube. And so, he concluded that playing Minecraft and posting his videos on YouTube was the safer option. He didn't regret going to college for what little time he did, but he also never regretted his decision to leave it behind. During a 2016 Q&A, one fan asked how Technoblade's parents reacted to his YouTube career. A pertinent question, since some guardians dislike the idea of playing video games for a living. According to the video, his parents were too preoccupied at the time to respond to his decision, since they were going through a divorce. However, he did joke that they were, quote, legally obliged to be, like, competitively supportive. But his answer raised another question. Who was he living with? Technoblade never addressed this directly, but he may have accidentally provided the answer. While playing Minecraft one day, Technoblade paused the game and muted his microphone on Discord. Unfortunately, he forgot to do the same on the stream, allowing audiences to hear what seemed to be a conversation with his dad. This seemed to reveal that Technoblade lived with his father at the time. During a later stream, Technoblade and his friends discussed the green screen studio he used for his 100,000 follower plaque reveal. One person asked why he had a green screen that he used for only one video. Technoblade explained that his father owns a movie studio, and it offered to let him use it in the past. It seems Technoblade finally took his dad up on the offer to honor that career milestone. Every now and then, Technoblade mentioned his ADHD to fans, offering musings on how ADHD can affect the thought process. In one instance, Technoblade posted on Twitter that, because of his ADHD, he would occasionally put so much energy into listening to people that he would miss what they actually said. According to another tweet, Technoblade once somehow went from editing Bed Wars footage to researching King Henry I's rule and lineage thanks to ADHD. I noticed that I clearly did not take my ADHD medicine this morning. While Technoblade typically didn't openly discuss his ADHD, odds are audiences got to see it in action. 
For example, during the fourth round of his legendary fight against Stream, Technoblade seemingly forgot about his opponent as he sheared the ground for 10 seconds. The streamer attributed this to ADHD, saying that he wanted to raise his shield but was distracted by what his character did instead. Turns out he had forgotten to take his medication that morning, but rallied by reminding himself that he was fighting for $100,000. Oh right, $100,000. Certain streamers have a catchphrase. For instance, Jacksepticeye begins some videos with the hearty top of the morning to you. Technoblade had a similar motto, as he could be heard occasionally screaming, Blood for the Blood God. Tabletop wargaming aficionados might recognize a mantra from the Core Knight worshippers in Games Workshop's Warhammer and Warhammer 40,000 products. In both franchises, Korn is the titular Blood God and his followers try to spill as much blood as possible on every battlefield. The more blood, the better. Blood for the blood god! Blood for the blood god! Blood for the blood god! Since Technoblade adopted this motto as one of its catchphrases, surely this must mean a huge love for the Warhammer games and the armies affiliated with Korn, right? Not so fast. According to one member of the Hypixel server forums, Technoblade once said in a video that he took the phrase from Warhammer 40k, and the Reddit user claimed that the content creator hadn't even heard of Korn until 2020. Assuming these statements are true, then Technoblade likely adopted the phrase because he thought it sounded cool. To be fair, it is an awesome war cry. Audiences have seemed split for some time over whether Technoblade or Dream is a superior Minecraft player. In the past, Technoblade and Dream have fought for the title and have essentially been rivals. But like all rivalries, their competition had to start somewhere. Nobody knows for sure how the rivalry between Technoblade and Dream began, but followers have pieced together some convincing theories. One such hypothesis floated by the best ginger revolves around Keemstar. As the story goes, Keemstar essentially kickstarted the Minecraft competitive scene with Minecraft Monday. Technoblade was one of the first entrants and swept the competition. See, Jimmy, it's because they feared my raw power. While Dream joined the contest on week 9, he didn't start competing directly with Technoblade until the sixth Minecraft Championships. Though neither won, Dream and his team pulled ahead in terms of performance which might have started his unofficial rivalry with Technoblade. Another theory proposed by Evan MC Gaming claimed that the Dream vs Technoblade standoff didn't develop because of anything either streamer did, but because of their fans. Audiences might have unintentionally sparked the competition by arguing about who was the better Minecraft player. Evan MC Gaming believes Mr. Beast truly set off the discussions, and therefore the feud, when he collaborated with Dream in one of his first Minecraft videos and joked about Technoblade. Hey, Technoblade? More like Techno worse than Dreamblade. YouTube is full of ads. Shocking, but true. Some ads are for online services, while others are for mobile games. If you have visited a dedicated Minecraft YouTuber's channel in the past, you might have even seen an ad for Technoblade. When Technoblade was 15 years old, he had accrued around 14,000 subscribers. But like many content creators, he wanted more. So he decided to grow his fan base by churning out content as normal while also attracting new viewers via ads. Technoblade made a Google AdWords account and his own trailer, and occasionally funneled all of his YouTube money into buying ad space in Minecraft videos. By Technoblade's calculations, his fan base grew by three subscribers for every dollar spent on the ads. He eventually quit due to diminishing returns, but by that time his gamble had paid off. In 2021, as Technoblade's channel approached a 10 million subscriber milestone, he released one more ad to, well, ask people to subscribe to his channel. I need you to subscribe to Technoblade today. It looks like the ploy worked, given the fact that Technoblade's numbers rocketed upwards. In July 2021, Technoblade's right arm started to hurt. He thought it was a repetitive strain injury, but rest didn't help. In fact, his right shoulder swelled up, so Technoblade assumed he had broken a bone. However, doctors told him that the news was even worse. He had cancer. Technoblade joked that he wouldn't mind if doctors had to cut off his arm to get rid of the tumor, but he had no idea how close it would come to that. While Technoblade initially went on chemo and radiation therapy to treat the cancer, it didn't really work. As a last-ditch effort before surgery, doctors tried to suffocate the tumor by cutting off its blood supply. At first, that strategy seemed to work, but then the dying cancer cells ballooned to a dangerous degree. 
which forced Technoblade's doctors to schedule an emergency amputation. However, the surgeons had one final trick up their sleeves. While they could completely sever Technoblade's arm, they also could try a limb salvage operation that cut out the tumor and the surrounding muscle and bone. Technoblade opted for the salvage, since its odds of survival were the same regardless, and because it let him keep his arm. Hello everyone, Technoblade here. If you're watching this, I am dead. So let's sit down and have one final chat. On June 30th, 2022, Technoblade's father posted a video to his main channel to tell fans the horrible news. Technoblade had passed away. In his final hours, Technoblade wrote down a message thanking his fans for their support over the years, particularly following his cancer diagnosis. He reassured his viewers that he had no regrets and looked back on his years in the public eye with great fondness. If I had another hundred lives, I think I would choose to be Technoblade again every single time, as those were the happiest years of my life. Technoblade's family likewise thanked fans and asked for privacy in their time of grief, and this was met with an outpouring of love from the gaming community. Major streamers like Pokemon and Ludwig sent their best wishes to Technoblade's family and shared their appreciation for his content. Joining in the tributes to Technoblade was none other than Minecraft developer and publisher Mojang which also found a way to immortalize a YouTuber in his favorite game. A few days after Technoblade passed, the launcher for Minecraft Java Edition was updated to include a crown on the head of the pig on the side of the screen. Fans immediately recognized this as a shout-out to Technoblade's avatar, and rejoiced at the sight of this in-game tribute. The official Minecraft Twitter account also paid its respects to Technoblade, writing, quote, he meant so much to our community and brought so much joy. He will be missed dearly. 